At the age of 16, I wanted to be an artist or a designer. I found myself spending hours drawing hyper-realistic sketches, but my mum said, no, you're an Asian. You must do a science-based degree or be a scientist or an accountant like all your cousins. So I reluctantly listened to her and I did both. I wanted to grow flora and fauna on the moon. So I went to space school, got a rare scholarship to work in a lab in Japan. I love the people, the culture, just not the bacteria the cultures. The, the microorganisms gross me out so much. Being in a lab with a white coat, pipetting endlessly, tweaking recipes, just felt no different to batch cooking. I realized I loved interacting with people. So fast forward to a decade ago, I ended up fulfilling the Asian stereotype once again and actually be trained as a business and management accountant. And I did good actually. I won awards, was a team player. I got my team to win awards. Uh, it was a nice tribe, but I realized once again, it didn't feel like my authentic self. I believe my purpose was to help more people and one way was to fulfill, first listen to what I actually wanted to do in life and it simply was to meet more like-minded people, write poems, sing, dance, heal myself and others, all my projects. Everything that I've done up till now has been following my dreams the whole time but as you learn you outgrow yourself. And like most spiritual beings, whatever you do, good and bad, unfortunately, you can be good and bad with excellence. So I stopped being complicit to my mum's view of what I should be. I stopped trying to conform into society's norm. I started listening to my own intuition, my purpose, and asked the universe to actually connect me to the people I need to connect with. So since then, I've been getting lots of travellers coming to my sanctuary here in Glastonbury, telling me they've had a dream about this place, about meeting me, giving me messages and lessons in life. And I've had a number of people ask me, why here? Why you? Why are you in my dreams? What am I supposed to do? And even when I say, I don't know, they'd insist that I knew. So I'd say to the following to them, and if you're still watching, this message is for you as well. So I tell them to close their eyes. So close your eyes. Think about what are you good at? What are you skilled at? What are your hobbies? The first thing that comes to mind that sparks a passion. Okay, that's one. Number two, think about what can you do today and all the days in the future to work towards the first thing, doing more of your hobbies, doing more of your passion. And finally, number three, how can what you do help other people? How can what you love doing help other people? Because once you're clear on all three, you'll be doing what you love most, helping others, and in return, the universe will just give you wealth and health back in complete abundance. So if you don't know what your life's purpose is, what you're supposed to do, just try asking those three things and ask yourself, Seek the intuitive authenticity inside you.